So we're gonna do a little bit of a hive inspection here. So this is how to approach a beehive, how to open it and do an inspection for queen right, food stores, health inspection. This should be done about every 10 to 15 days during the height of the season. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop the lid a little bit. You can hear that propolis breaking. They seal that on pretty good. And this is the inside to a beehive. So what you wanna do is we'll use a little smoke on the entrance and on the top, and that's it. So when you look at a honeybee, look at the, the back end of them. So see this one, the stripes on there? and see how it's different from this bee right here. See how that stripe pattern's different? These are different dads. So when the queen breeds, she'll fly and mate with uh, zero to 25 different drones. And the diversity of the colony, how many drones she mates with, is how different the bees are. So if she only mated with one drone, then if a virus came through that they were susceptible to that drone, then all the bees would die. If you get 25 drones, well then it's only gonna affect 1 25th of the population. A little bit more smoke, keep them quiet. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide all the frames over and pull out the end frame. So we know that the queen is probably going to be in the center right here. So we don't wanna go in and pull that frame out of the center and roll her and kill her. The queen's the most important bee in this hive. You lose your queen, chances are you're gonna lose your hive. So what we're gonna do is pull this end frame out. We've moved them over. So we have a little bit of room. So we're gently going to lift that up. You don't want to just yank it out of there, be gentle. And then you're also going to see that the end frame here is honey. So the bees are going to naturally arrange this hive like this. The honey's gonna be on the outside. Your outside frames are honey and the brood and the queen and the bees are in the center. So this is food stores for the winter. So as we're looking at this, what we wanna see is good good food stores. It's also insulation for the bees. So now we're going to set that one off to the side. And we're going to take the next frame out. When we put a hive back together, we want to put it together the same as we took it apart. So if we take it apart and rearrange all the frames for them, then we can put honey in the middle, we can split the brood nest and also harm the hive, if not destroy it. So when you put it back together, the frames have to go back in the same order that they came out. Okay, so there's another frame of honey. So each of these frames of honey weighs seven to eight pounds. So we're counting in our head now. Well, there's 14 pounds of food right there, right? So I'm gonna set that hive up, that frame off. So now, and we're in the top box which should be a lot more honey than brood. I'm gonna break the two boxes apart, the bottom frames. There's another frame of honey. You can see the capped honey. We're also looking at the bee's wings. Are the wings in the right position? Um, are they spread? Are they disjointed? Um, what do the bees actually look like? When you're looking at the wings, are, do they look shiny? Do they look clean? Do they look foggy? Do they look unhealthy? That tells us a lot, just looking at the bees. So now we've got enough space up here, we can just move the frames over to the side and pick them up and check it. And so this frame back here, this has some open space on it and you wanna see that. So when the queen does start laying, she's gonna lay in this pattern right here. And so we have some good food stores. Our top box looks really good. Our hive is in really good shape for honey production. So it's gonna come right along. We'll check a couple of these other frames and then we're gonna look in the bottom box. We're just gonna move these over. Get them organized. And then we've got an empty frame in there that uh, is ready to go. So we have, they have a little room for expansion, but they've got a lot of food. Okay, we're gonna give them a little more smoke. Now, this is the brood chamber down here. This is brace comb or bird comb, so we can clean that off. Okay, now we're gonna take the end frame 
Remember, we want to take that end frame out first. So we're going to loosen it up. We're going to slide the, the frames over to make some room. We're going to take that end frame out carefully first. <coughs> 